Hello everyone, Kane again. Um, if you watched my last video, this is the continuation kind of five minutes later. The Bowcats, if you watched from the last one, are still chasing me. I am going to do a video now about training, where to get it, how to get it, what you need, and it's, it's pretty simple. So basically, <coughs> the first thing you want to do is gain the correct amount of XP for what you want. I don't, I'm just giving you an example here. Once you have the amount of XP required for the, uh, the box you want, what you want to do is say I needed hunting one methodology. Easy one right here. Um, hunting one requires 1000 scouting XP. I have 2,295. I have quite a bit of scouting XP for this one. Overkill. Now once you have the acquired XP, uh, getting it by however your class says you need to get it, you need to find a trainer. Now I have made a waypoint. You can easily make waypoints in this game to whatever you need unless it's a hidden cool thing like a Jedi trainer. Those are always hidden and only for one person. Now, if you're not a Jedi, and you just need to find your normal trainer, you go to the world map, wherever you are, and on this helpful side thing here, find a location, you want to go to Scout. They, they have it listed like this right now, like Brawler, Marksman, stuff like this. Um, in the original game, they just had one box that said Trainer, and you clicked into that, and it would pull up all the classes. Um, they haven't organized it quite well yet on the emulator, so right now it's just you click scout and it expands like this, and it says a scout trainer. Uh, once they work on this a little more, it'll say like bestine scout trainer or any th or most Isley or most Espa, something like that. Right now it's just scout, so you gotta click and look and see. It'll be marked by a green X. That one's not the right one. That one's the right one. But I'm just gonna go through as an example. See, it goes through all the. All the little cities there. Oh, that's shuttle ports. So the one I want is this one right here. And what you do to make the waypoint is you right click that, or you right click here, and you hit create waypoint. And here on the right, you'll have your little waypoint monitor. Uh, if you don't have this up, all you need to do is go into options, and it's in interface, I believe, and it is one second. Um, it is enable waypoint monitor if I could just remember where it is I think it's a miscellaneous actually yeah on screen waypoint monitor is that right there on the right so you enable on screen waypoint monitor it'll tell you the distance in meters it'll give you a helpful little blue arrow and then you have another option you can check is on a different waypoint monitor right here it gives you a little blue arrow so you follow this to the incorrect trainer because I am silly and thought I was here for some reason. So that is not the one I want. This is the one I want. Great waypoint. Double click to uh, get rid of whatever you're targeting. Right click to see all the waypoints available on the current area you're in. And if I could just learn to drive here. Uh, let's see. He's right here. It gives you a nice easy helpful glowing beam of light. You can see this from a great distance away as well. Uh, you can see this a uh, mile away, two miles away, because it's it looks like this. It's a big beam from the sky. I think if all games did this beam, oh, questing and missions, so easy in other games. Yeah, it, it might break you out of the, I don't know, the immersion for some people. But for me, it's very helpful and very easy to understand. It's like big glowing beam, here, go. So when you get to your trainer... So scout, you converse with him. You can either do this one of two ways. The easiest, of course, is either double clicking him, and this comes up, clicking and holding, hitting converse, or if you have him targeted, blue reticule, you can hit the tilde key. The tilde key is below the escape key and above the tab key and to the left of the one key on most computers. It, it's that little line. It's that little squiggly line. So you can hit that, and it'll bring up that menu as well, in case your mouse doesn't want to work for some reason. Either way, you do whichever way you feel comfortable with. You hit Converse, 
And then most trainers will say something very much like this. Either you're interested or what you'll be able to learn next. This will tell you what your what pat what potential boxes you can pick. This basically tells you that you can pick this one, this one, this one, or this one. It doesn't tell you what you have. It doesn't tell you the top ones that you're going to get. It tells you the ones you're up for right now. So I know that I can get hunting one. So can we start again or stop conversing and open it all up from the beginning? Um, say so you're interested in learning a skill. He tells you the only ones you have enough experience points for. He doesn't tell you the ones you almost have. He tells you the ones you can do right now. You pick the one, he tells you how much it costs over here, it says 1000 credits, you hit yes or no. I'm not going to hit yes because I'm looking for Exploration 3 next, but you would hit it, he would take your money, he would give you the skill immediately, and as an example, hunting one box, instead of this green bar telling you the amount of XP, it's, or it's yellow when you're working towards it, it's green when you have enough XP for it. This would go. This whole thing would go solid green like this, and you would have it, and you would gain whatever it says here and here. Here is skill modifications, so increases in your character stats. Here is new abilities that you gain from it. As you can see, hunting one just gives you increased stats for harvesting uh, raw materials from creatures and knowing about the creatures, and no abilities. Now, the last thing to talk about is when you learn said skill it takes away a specific amount of points from your uh, current skill points available. Everyone has 250. When you buy it, you immediately lose two skill points for this one. So you, it requires two skill points to learn. This one, three. This one, four. This one, five. It does the reverse amount once you get out of basic. So basic, the most expensive thing is the novice. That requires 15. The master, the least require, or not the least, but it, it it's less than the novice. It requires six for the basic. When you get into advanced ones like uh, bounty hunter, it reverses. It's six for the basic, but it's one for the master. And the master requires a lot of experience. But each of these boxes, it's reversed. Instead of uh, two, three, four, five, it's five, four, three, two. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it's because these basic ones is where a lot of the the cool stuff's at and it's just it's a way to balance the amount of possible combinations you can have so you can't have the best of everything and the worst of you know something so that's pretty much it for how you go about finding your trainer require or er, acquiring skills and what the effects are in the end uh, Thanks, I will see you in the next video, which I will be recording shortly.